Welcome crafters, Andy is Yodi here and welcome back to the channel that's getting people back to building in Minecraft and it's the village transformation series. We have been transforming every build in this village and now we're adding our own builds like watchtowers and gatehouses and now it's the turn of the barracks somewhere for the army to reside in. It's going to be in this little space here. Hey, you guys are inspiring me so much with your comments about what to build in the village and I want to do every single suggestion. It is amazing what you guys are coming up with. So keep those suggestions flooding in and don't forget if you're a new subscriber let me know in the comments and I will comment on top of your comment. That's a Yoda promise. So my idea for this barracks is it's a ruined building and they've built the barracks. Oh we have some people watching. We'll have a look at them in a minute. Um, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah it's a ruined barracks that the barracks get built in. No it's a ruined building and the barracks get built on the building. Anyway, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25. We need to make 13 by 25. It's a biggish building. 13 by 25, I think. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let me just zip this up here like this. Boom. Cobblestone. Cobblestone to start with. Let me go over the ingredients very, very quickly. We've got cobblestone. We've got glass paint, spruce wood slab, oak is wood is planket, stone is brickets, and polished. And B is your the site. And then we have some oak wood and <coughs> some oak wood stairs. <coughs> Sorry. Coffee, coffee. <laughs> and some iron bars, yeah. And we have some people watching. Glitcher Boy YouTube, check him out. And we have Mystery Kid and Slim Crazy and Jake from State Fam, who's a brand new builder. One, two, three, four, five. We've got to got five on the sides like this. That's too much. And then, so this is going to be the ruin. The ruin of the century. Why did I say that? I don't know. I'm just killing time. Filling in blocks. <laughs> And then here as well. So that is the end of the ruin. Please do the same on the other side. There we go. We've done the same on the other side as if by magic. So we've got 13 by 25 and then we go up five blocks at the side. One, two, three, four, five. And then just zigzag it up to the top just like that. Okay, now the next few blocks we're going to be quite careful with where they get placed. I'm actually going to make a little bit of a break right in the middle. Is that the middle? Now it sure does look like the middle to me. And then we're going to go one, two, three, blonk. No, one, two, three, blonk. One, two, three, plonk, like that. So we've got all them there. And then one, two and one two and these are going to be the kind of ruined side bits to the wall we're going to have this one come up like that um one two three let's go for one more like that why not you shall feel generous and then i think we're going to go something like that that looks pretty cool to me yeah being kind of exactish about the end of the build here. Let's just bring this up here. It doesn't matter too much about these kind of ruined bits, but I like to just, I have designed this, you know. <laughs> I've been professional, I have designed, I think we're gonna get rid of that block there. We've got kind of ruined, knocked down parts to this build, which I like. I really do like this an awful lot. Okay, the same little uh, blocks here, but these are gonna go outside the wall, so one, Gap of three, one, two, three, plonk, and then gap of three, one, two, three, plonk. And we're also, also gonna get rid of these middle bits as well, and you, and you, and then it gets left there like that. So this is the back of the barracks, and the front is over there where we started. Um, now here, we're going to just bring this along here like that, and then maybe three. We're kind of just making it all ruined, um, and kind of falling apart something something like that would probably be okay and this bit kind of ruinish as well i'll just make up new words why don't you andy no one knows what you mean by ruinish but i kind of do do you know what ruinish means make it ruinish everybody uh let me see let me see let me see is this good is this good i think this is good Andy. uh yeah this looks this looks all right well i might just do is bring that up again like that Cool. Uh, is there more people? Is there more people? We've got popcorn now, we've got the architect. Slim Crazy's managed to find a sword. Am I not in the pen? <laughs> Stay in the pen, that's what I told them. You weren't, you weren't. Stay in the big pen. Um, let's find the middle here and just build this right up. Um, 
to there, I think it should do. Same over here. So yeah, we've got these ruined, this ruined structure here. And what I'm gonna do with this ruined structure is um, place on some of these blocks that make it look as if you just place the beams on top of the ruins. You're using the ruins as a place for your strength, the strength of the beams that go right through the build. There we go. Cool. It's very even, the, the ruins. What we're going to do later on is just going to upset, <laughs> upset the ruins uh, a little bit. Upset them by tickling them. No, we're not going to tickle them. We're just going to um, count one, two, three, four. Weather them. We're going to weather the ruins and make them kind of just fall apart with slabs and with stairs. But I want to crack on and put some of these construction beams in place first so you can see where the construction beams are going as long as you get these ones set out correctly everything else should be okay i think they stick out more than one so yeah just like that Let's stick that out there and then bring this up so if you get these ones these are the key ones to get these three in place everything kind of else hangs on i don't need to count because i've got those three in the right spot and that's the most important important thing Okay, uh, let's go over to the back of this place now. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to bring these up um, pretty high. Let's just two, three, four, five, six. Let's just bring them up six just now while I do some thinking. Um, okay, here I'm going to come out like that and then just go like that and then bring these right down here. This is going to come up in line. So everything just lines up. You don't have to count as long as you've lined everything up correctly. I think that looks okay. Same on this side here. So again, we're just aiming for that block there, and then it comes down like that. Oops. There, whoa. there we go. Cool. We are kind of getting there, kind of getting there, bit by bit, block by block. Right, same over here. We want to bring these along and kind of stick these through. Bum, 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 bum. This is the absolute key of getting these three things in the right place, and then everything else just kind of hinges off it. Once you've got them in the right place, it is not too bad. There we go. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing, Andy? I'm actually quite liking this. I'm actually quite liking this. Right, um, let's bring these up to here, but what we're gonna do is come right across with another beam like that. Let me explain what's going to be in this build. It's a barracks. So this is the, the, the frame of the barracks, which is kind of being supported by, um, kind of being supported by the structure, especially when you do things like that, you see, it really helps the structure to be supported. This is why I left this gap in here. We're just bringing this along there like that. Isn't that cool? Everything is supported by the ruin. And same over here as well. We can support things like that. And then same over here. Everything gets supported with the ruin. And also just the logs themselves are supporting the whole build. I like to think. I like to think. Um, okay, we also need some uprights here as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I was going to tell you the plan. The plan is to have kind of an entrance way here, maybe a commander's room in here, and then a storeroom in here, and then a kind of a dining room through round into a kitchen in here, and then upstairs is going to be some sleeping accommodation with a kind of a, a decking area here. That is my plan, I tell you. That is my plan. Of course I missed a slab out. I missed a block from the list. Everyone's long. Everyone's gone. Are they invisible? I just don't think I can see them right now. Anyway, um, talking to slabs, talking to slabs, we're gonna go for some maximum slabishness. Um, and this is gonna go here. Slabius Maximus. Put these little wooden slabs all around here. If you're still with me, if you're still managing and coping to follow along. Maybe you just like me, like to watch me build. You like to me, you like to do no work yourself and to let Andy do everything. Well, that's fine as well. That's what I'm here for. This is possible. And I bet that was Glitcher Boy. 
who put invis on everybody. Kind of against server rules. And uh, if anyone knows how to take off potions on the server, if you're a dev and you know, uh, I, I would love to <laughs> stop potions. I haven't even looked into it myself, to be honest. I've been just always too many things to do. Making YouTube videos, running a server, deving the server. It's just non-stop. Teaching survival. Uh, okay. There we go. Isn't it cool? I just love the way these bricks kind of just shoot through here. We could even go like that and just go completely crazy and bring those through there. Good. Well, that is the main structure complete. I'm just checking some of my reference pictures here, but I think that is the main structure done. I'm actually going to add um, a bit of a roof in here, but before I do that, we're going to just place a couple of blocks here like that. Um, and we're also going to go here, like that, and then here, and here, and here, and here. And then we're going to grab some windows and put these. So these are going to be like little kind of mini dormer windows, very simple design uh, dormer windows in the build. There we go. So let me just hold the screen right there, and you can see exactly where they are. Now, to be honest, to be honest, we need to do the same on the other side as well. So window in there. Under there, under there, 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 and there. Boom, boom. Oops, not you, not you. There, there, and there. So windows at the back as well. Then we can reach for some roofing blocks. Did I put roofing blocks down? I did. See, oak wood stairs. A lot of this build is going to be oak wood, but I would like it to be an oak wood roof as well because it kind of looks, it looks villagish. I don't know if, uh, uh, is that a word? I'm just making it ruinish and villagish. It looks a bit like the Mojang Minecraft village. Um, it really does when you do it like this. So let me just put on a couple of rows of roof bricks. Or And the roof gets built up in a trig by angle like this. Same down here again. So you're gonna come along here like that and in between these as well. And then down here as well, one more sticky out like that. And that's gonna go all the way along. Let me just do this bit all the way along. Like that, and let's just keep on going. Let's figure out what we're doing at the very end a little bit later on. But what I want to do is just kind of pause the video here and then just build this roof all the way along. There we go, and it comes up, and these should meet in the middle. So that creates kind of a roof on top. In fact, let me just use a little bit of world edit. So what we're gonna do here, rather than pause the video, I'm just gonna say, Slash slash stack 20. So you just need to keep on repeating exactly what I did all the way along like that. We could probably go a couple more blocks. Let's go stack 23 like that. Now, where, how far do we want to stick this along? I think that's a good place to stick that along too. I think that would be fine. So again, I'm just um, doing things which speed up the video so it, it isn't like a, a 45 minute video. <laughs> Hopefully you're not going to be too raging about that just because I am placing some blocks with world edit. But it's just speeding things up, that's all. It's all doable, definitely, definitely. All these village builds, no world edit needed, no special mods, no special texture pack, you can just build it. Um, so there's, there's that side of the roof, done, okay? All the way around. Um, by the way, what we need to do is just hack out these blocks here so we can actually see through the window. If I put these in the right place, that one doesn't get, that one doesn't get hacked, Andy. Um, yeah, there we go. I can put that down, I can put that down there. There's our little windows. Actually, above the windows, I'm just gonna go for something so incredibly simple. It's just gonna be, um, is it gonna be like that? Is that, that's a bit too simple, I think. One, two, three. I'll come back to you on that design. I'll come back to you now. Let's finish. <laughs> I can't remember what I planned. What did I plan? Let's just stack this as well, 23. So the roof gets whacked along there. Let me just improve this. And that gets tucked, taken out there. Take out you. Take out you. Take out you. And then boom, 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 boom. 
Um, do we go one more for? I don't think we go further out. I think that's. I think that's okay. Um, Glitcher boy is dancing about, keeping himself amused. <laughs> Someone's hitting them with an axe, and they're invisible. Um, right. I'm gonna put you there. Is it snowing? I think it might be snowing for the first time in Yorkshire this year. Well, at my altitude anyway. Right, I think we're good for a roof. Let's, oh, although I think we do need to bring this bit out for sure. This roof needs to extend here, otherwise it's gonna look a bit pure daft, Andy. So that just comes out like that. Hopefully you've kept up so far. We're building the frame first really and then going back and adding detail i felt there was one to add there is one to add there oh something else i was going to do in these windows is that just turn those like that underneath the window boom boom like that um we are going to need some planks in there boom like that and then you boom there we go. So from the front, it just looks a little bit better. I haven't quite remembered what I planned for the roof. So I'm going to make a little pause in the video just now and remind myself. What did I plan? What did I plan for the roof? Because I can't remember. I make all these designs and plans off camera and then I build it for you guys and then sometimes I forget. That's not too bad. We've done all that. Let's figure out what I did for the roof. Right, just before we put some walls into this place, I want to make the ruins look a bit better. Remember I said we were going to use things like this? You can just drop some slabs down as if it's been ruined. So things like that is a pretty good thing to do. It looks like a bit has fallen off and you could put that on the ground. We could get rid of that as well and just basically actually just drop it into the ground and then build it up like that as if it's almost overgrown as well. We could maybe just take that down. It looks so much better when you just put on these little half slabs lying about all over the place. So it doesn't matter too much where you put them. It doesn't matter too much where you put them. Things like that would do on the floor. Another brick there just fallen off. Some ruined bricks and some half slabs lying about just like that. And up here as well, let's change that to that. Uh, maybe that actually. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Um, so just have fun, have fun with this, just scattering these about the place so it looks just kind of a little bit higgledy-piggledy and a bit, a bit uneven, um, things lying about. There we go. Cool. You're going to have fun with that. Do what you want. You can have fun, I promise. Right, now, what we want to do is get busy with some blocks here. Lauren, now I'm going to bring this one, two, three, four, five, like that. I'm going to bring this up as a wall. This is going to make a little commander's station in here. It's starting to get a little dark in here. A little dark. I'm actually just going to take off shaders. Hold on. Okay, well, I had to stop myself, force myself to stop building. That's the end of episode one, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll be back with episode two tomorrow. So tune in for that as well and build along. Hey, take care for now, Mini Blocks. Be with you.